Oh, okay. I missed one. So here's a nice thing of uh, spores. You can see them. They're microscopic, but you can see them when they're in mass. So if you take any sort of mushroom and put it on like a table like this, like I'm, I'm just going to leave this mushroom on this table. And then when someone comes and like picks it, like takes it away tomorrow, they're going to see a nice little spore print right on the, the base of this uh, table. So that's something like a fun little project you can do at home at any time. You make cool patterns. And if you like uh, blow a fan gently, you'll see the, like, the airflow get all distorted. It's kind of cool. Um, this was a grow kit. So there's a grow kit right here. And then the mushrooms were fruiting all out of the side. So you have the spores uh, covering the desk. And that's just one night that was left there. So they produced thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Spores go out and they germinate mycelium. So here's some photos of mycelium. Mycelium is what is inside of this bag, right? So all this like white cottony material, that's what the mycelium is, right? And it's growing in this bag, it's growing in sawdust. It's food source, it's consuming the sawdust as it grows out and that's how it gets the energy to create these mushrooms. Um, mycelium, like I was saying earlier, is only one cell wall thick and it secretes all these enzymes into its environment. It shares a lot of pathogens that we have, a lot of microbial pathogens, bacteria, other fungi, yeast. And because it doesn't have a lot of physical protection, it protects itself chemically. So those enzymes I was talking about that digest the food also create this kind of, uh, they, it's like this chemical warfare almost that's going on with other bacteria that want to come in and start eating the, the mycelium. So they're creating powerful antibiotics, antifungal, um, compounds that cr create like a safe area that they grow in. And that's why we get a lot of our medicine. I think right now it's like 70% of any, any uh, bacterial pharmaceuticals are derived from fungi. Yeah? The spores, I saw, you saw, I saw male and female spores. Okay. Is one spore that started in my ceiling or yeah, typically with the, so we're, we're mostly in the uh, phylum of Basidiomycete. Okay, that's where m most of, and you can see that word, uh, I guess it's just Basidia. So this is a life cycle of a Basidiomycete, and that's most of um, the, the phylum that the mushrooms we consume are in. There's also Ascomycete, and it's basically those two phylum that all the mushrooms we see come from. Um, and they do have mating types, like an A and a B and a C and a D. And the spores, when they come out of the mushroom, aren't capable of producing another mushroom. It's just like humans, I can't produce a, uh, another human without a partner. And similar with these spores, they can't create another uh, mushroom without a partner. So they need to um, mate in some way. There's lots of sloppiness, lots of sloppiness. Yeah, good, good word choice. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different um, mating types that can, that can come together and some that can't. It can be from the same mushroom, it can be from different mushrooms. A lot of, a lot of variability in the sexual life cycles of, of fungi. Are there mushroom hybrids? Mushroom hybrids, what does that mean? Well, if you're taking one species crossing Yep, there's not, um, I wouldn't say cross-species hybrids. Um, I've never seen that. There is ways to get different strains and make a new strain. And that, um, yeah, different, like, I think in plant world it's like called cultivars or, I don't know, what, in mushroom world it's called strains. Um, yeah. So that, that's the process, that's the AB sort of thing that you're seeing earlier. And another thing those enzymes I was talking about do is it's, the, it's like the language that fungi use. And so how do they find a mate in this whole wide world? Where do I find a mate? And it's the enzymes that guide them. Right? So they're secreting these enzymes and getting information back, compounds from their surrounding environment, and then that guides their growth. So if they're getting a, uh, enzymes from a compatible uh, mycelial network, they'll grow towards it. If they're getting enzymes from something that they can't 
mate with, they'll grow away from it. Or they like zone off. Yeah, okay. Um. Are the mycelium like roots? Um, my Are they getting nutrition to the mushroom? Yeah, the mycelium is how the fungus spends its whole life. So it's, it's only that little, little uh, snapshot that the fungus is a mushroom. And when, when it's not there, right, you walk through the woods after it rains and there's all these mushrooms. And then you walk the same path a week later, where did all the mushrooms go? That mycelial network is always there. And that's, that's in the ground, in the log, in whatever it's growing in. And the mushroom just comes out every now and again. If you're thinking about it in the plant realm, the mycelium is the roots, the tree, the bark, the leaves. It's the whole uh, plant structure. The mushroom is the fruit, right? It's like a tomato. And then the spores are the seed inside of that tomato. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay, we'll send this over, some lion's mane. Um, okay, and as, culti as, as cultivators, what we work with is mycelium. Mycelium that's already uh, had that, that sexual mating and is capable of producing a mushroom. And what's kind of fascinating is that you can go from a mushroom back to mycelium really easily. So I could take this uh, mushroom and just take, uh, like break it open like this, take a little piece of the tissue, put it on a petri plate, and it'll start growing a clone of itself. Right? It just starts gro growing back to mycelium. And it's kind of like, um, it's like, what? The, the mycelium, the mycelium, this, is the same thing as this. Right? And it's like radically different forms, but they're made up of the exact same cells. And there's a lot of like, uh, we don't really understand how that transition happens. Right. Cut it in half. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it could be like a like a potato. Yeah. You can just clone it and keep expanding it. But it's going to grow a lot faster than a potato. Like I could go from this one mushroom, and probably five months later, I could have like four thousand pounds of this same mushroom. Yeah. So the 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 opportunity for expansion with mycelium is is huge. Really, really huge. Um, and it's this mycelium that we use as cultivators. That's what we primarily grow, right? If you're growing tomatoes, you got to grow a really healthy tomato plant. And then you, you get great tomatoes. Same thing with mushrooms. You got to grow really healthy mycelium, give it the environment to grow in, and then you'll get really good, bountiful, beautiful mushrooms.